Welcome back to my channel, girl. I say may God bless you all and stay tuned to this channel. So, for people that are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first set of people to get notification whenever I drop a new video. And um, please, when you subscribe, remember to write me the I have subscribed. Uh, writing on my description box so that I can give you my special shout out or my special things. So, today on my hot seat is a sheep from the BBN season 4 edition. Season 4 edition. This sheep, by now, a lot of people thought maybe we will be walking, uh, they will be walking down the aisle or they should be in a very strong lasting relationship by now when the ovation well, uh, went down and the attention diverted to the new housemates we all thought that probably by now we are we must have they must have taken things to the next level this ship is no other than merike ship the mess the ship the two inmates of this ship are one messi eke popularly called Lambo and the uh, Ike Chuku Onyema, popularly called Ike. So, Mercy Lambo was born on the tw uh, September the 29th, making her a Libra personality. While Ike, on the other hand, was born on the 19th of July, making him a cospa of Cancer and Leo. He is a cosper you can watch my other videos on cosper where i explained it it is the act of being born uh, it is being born on the transition stage when one sign is leaving and another one is entering so natives of this uh, cusp is prone to have two or dual zodiac traits they will have cancer which is their real zodiac trait uh, personality then a tinge of leo because they were born at the transition stage this cusp is cost called the cusp of oscillation and you know what oscillation means that's going from one point to another if you don't understand the concept of the cusp, please watch the cusp video so people born in this cusp of oscillation which is between cancer and leo from July the 19th to July the 25th. Natives of this cusp mm, brings the concept of drama to their life. With cancer sensitivity and the drama that comes from Leo, the natives combine the boots. So to these natives, a little big, a little small problem, they turn into, into a big deal and make drama out of it. And then a little bit, a little success, they still turn into, into a big celebration. Because they have the sensitivity of the cancer and the loudness and the, and the drama of the Leo. So to them, life is either a party being loud and dramatic or the opposite, which is being by their side, eating cookies all by themselves. While Mercy Lambu is a pure Libran. Librans are charming, super smart, quick witted, very pleasant, a little teasing, outgoing, very social, and you know, they live a bubbly lifestyle, they live, you know, activity lifestyle. It's, uh, they are very indecisive though, and highly superficial and flaky they are not they are not easy to predict they are very hard to predict because they are very erratic people and you don't know their next course of action now let me tell you okay what makes these two two inmates attracted to each other in the first place 
the inmates of the ship or what makes their shippers, the Merike shippers, feel that this ship had future in the first place. The first, okay, what makes the shippers think that this ship is going somewhere in the first place? There is about six major things that got them attracted to each other and made the shippers feel that this ship had future. These six things include, it's gotten from Ike's Leo, the little things he got from Leo because he was born on the transition stage. So this makes them, both of them, to love partying. Librans love partying and Leos love partying. So this got both of them attracted to each other. Two, both of them live lively lifestyle. They are always on their leg, dancing and jubilating. Three, both of them are logical thinkers. Leos are logical thinkers. Librans are logical thinkers. Four, the both of them are artistic and uh, creative. Five, both of them loves to give love in an artistic and uh, dramatic style or creative style. Like in the case of this uh, paparazzi I've been talking about, when each of them is doing birthday, they love to decorate the place, serenade, make some loud noise and all that. It is common with the both zodiac sign, so they find that kind of love attractive. Since both of them are materialistic, they love the material realm, beautiful and good things and luxury and money. So it attracted both of them in the first place. About two, I remember about two years ago when I, I told my friends that both of them are not compatible, but I wasn't on YouTube then. I just discussed it with some of my classmates and some of, of my friends. I told them that these two are not compatible. So because the ovation was still high then, and you know, the one won the money and all that, the shippers and the people that thought that they were compatible and that this ship had future were all over the place shipping them. So, what is their dark side that actually crashed this ship? <laughs> I remember some, some people came to my uh, comment section to say that I'm a prophet of doom, that I always uh, talk about the negative and that. The truth is that it's the only your negative aspect that will spoil your relationship. Your strength or your positive side will never spoil your relationship, will not crush, crash, sorry, crash your relationship. It is your dark side that has the tendency and the potential to wreck your relationships. So what is that dark side of Mercy and Ike that wrecked the Merike ship? One, Librans are very superficial and flaky. I know it may not sound very well, but it is what it is. Librans are the most superficial of the zodiac sign. They are naturally attracted to beautiful things, luxury, money, material things. It is their natural attraction. So, this, their attraction and love for wealth, money and luxury will make them to look will make Mercy as a Libran to look out to more richer men to date or richer men to date or people that are higher than Ike in caliber and uh, finance to date. And this will not go down with the cancer personality, which is Ike. Being born on the cusp, he has the cancer tendency and the Leo tendency. So, because he is a cancer and he will not, naturally, Librans, Librans are attracted to money, making money, luxury. So, this will make her to want to travel the world all the time, trying to fix appointments and, relations, uh, and uh, you know, businesses. 
but this will not go down with Ike because Ike will not allow her to travel the world alone. For a cancer man, their woman should always be very homely and reserved. Even if she has to travel, she should travel with him. He wants her to always travel with him. Let them travel together. This reflected when Mercy went to London alone. He didn't go down well with Ike. Because the cancer personality always wants you by their side. Even if you want to travel, both of you should travel together. Two, Librans are good flirts. Even when they don't intend it, even when they are in relationship, they naturally flirt and attract people around them because they ooze natural charm. They are very charming. They have sweet personality. So naturally, people are attracted to them. Even when they don't intend to, they see them, they tend to see that they see their self seducing people when they do not intend to, because it is their natural tendency. And this will naturally not go down with the cancer personality of EK. Cancers do not want you to mingle with anybody or seduce anybody. You should always be with them and by them. The cancer natives are extremely sensitive and jealous too. Three, both of them are super controlling. The controlling of the cancer stems from the fact that they are overly protective of their loved ones. So in a situation where you try to protect someone all the time, at some point it becomes a controlling behavior. So you, you reflected in the house all, all the time after the Saturday night party, a lot of controlling attitude from Ike and, uh, and Mercy. They will throw tantrums, they will break up, they will make up and all that. All those petty fights, it's a form of controlling attitude. Even outside the house, Mercy kept shouting that Ike will not stop her from traveling the world to make money or traveling the world to be successful. That is the controlling tendency of the cancers. They do not want you to explore. They only want you all by themselves, by themselves at home or in their immediate environment. And Mercy as a Libran is controlling too. But their own part of controlling stems from the fact that they do not want conflict. They always want peace. So sometimes they overindulge in that and start to manipulate and control their partner without knowing it. In as much as they hate peace, they overindulge in it and try and becomes overly controlling and manipulative to their partners and their friends. Fourth. Librans can fall in love very easily within a very short space of time. They fall in love very easily, so this will always make them to look outside the shores of their relationship. They fall in love quite easily, even when they don't even want to. Sometimes, most times, they don't fall in love with the person, they just fall in love with the idea or with the concept of being in love. Even when they, they don't want to do anything with that friendship or that, um, so on that relationship, they just simply fall in love very easily because they, they always have the tendency to be romantic and fall in love easily without any good reason. Even when they don't uh, intend to fall in love with the person, they just see themselves falling in love. Fifth, cancers are hypersensitive. Cancers are hypersensitive. They are known for this, their sensitivity, overly sensitive nature. Because of this hypersensitivity, living with them becomes very hard. Trying to be with a cancer is very hard mm -hmm. because of their overly sensitive nature. This oversensitivity of a cancer will push Ike in a, a lot of times to be overly protective of Mercy and which Mercy don't, will not like as a Libran because Libras are, like to live an enjoyment and independent lifestyle. 
they are overly sensitive. Everything brings sensitivity and drama. So this makes staying there with them and living with them becomes a problem. This happened when Mercy traveled to London and he, he laid down on the body of, of a friend and snapped picture. Ike fled. Ike could not contain it because they are very sensitive. Everything, every little thing is a problem for them. So, they were never compatible. Librans are not compatible with cancers. The cancer aspect of Ike will not allow, did not allow that ship to sail. They are not compatible. They only have he only had a tinge of Leo that has some attraction with Libra parts of Mercy. Cancer is a water sign. Libra is an air sign. Mercy does not have what it takes to keep Ike. Ike is a water sign. His Leo aspect is a fire sign. There is too much contrast in the elements. Ike is an embodiment of water and fire. Mercy was just an air sign. So, when it comes to compatibility, Merike's ship was dead on arrival. It was not a compatible ship. So, and none of them were willing to put in the required work or the required effort because at the end of the day two adults can decide to be together but when you are not compatible it requires a lot of work to make it work because what you people were naturally supposed to possess that will keep you going was not there so it, it requires you both especially both of you to make conscious effort to keep the ship because both of you naturally do not have what it takes to keep it without so much effort. So if they have to keep it, it will be with so much effort. Leos are passionate and exuberant. Cancers are sensitive and emotional. That's Ike's personality. Libras are just intellectual and curious. That's Messi's personality. So there is no correlation. There was no nothing could hold that ship because they do not have anything in common the ship was dead on arrival so why exactly did i choose to fix relationships with zodiac sign or to solve relationship issues with zodiac sign this is simply because that is the surest way and the weakest way to get to the core of our personalities. So, what I'm trying to say is that this universe that we live in is an embodiment of energies. Our personalities are transmitted from the energies from the universe according to your date of birth. Your date of birth which is actually the position of the sun at the day of your birth, is how you trap your personalities or how you trap your energies from the sun. What I'm doing in this uh, cha uh, channel is not ordinary newscasting. This, in this channel, I do a lot of mental work. And this mental work the only people that can understand it is the people that have a lot of mental strength too. Your zodiac sign is also called your sun sign. You can call it your zodiac sign or your sun sign. This is the exact position of the sun when you were born, the day you were born. Okay. Most times, the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening there is never a day you wake up and the sun does not didn't rise the sun doesn't go retrograde because many things depends on the sun god has given us this powerful celestial body called 
the sun, the dazzling sun. It has a lot of function in our lives. Never will the sun say, I will not rise in the morning and I will not set in the evening because many people or many things depend on this sun. Why did science or the uh, physicians tell us to go out to the morning sun, to trap some energy from the sun to make the vitamin D that we use in our body? Why is when a new baby is born with excess bilirubin in the body, the, baby, the mother is told to put the baby at the early morning sun to trap some energy as a form of phototherapy for the baby. This phototherapy removes the excess bilirubin produced by the liver from the baby. Okay, why does green light and um, green plants need the sun to manufacture their food in the process called photosynthesis. Green plants trap energies from the sun to manufacture their own food, to make their food. Without the sun, green plants cannot make their food. So this is how important the sun is to us. If the green lights and the green plants waits for the sun to trap energies what is it how hard is it for you to trap your personality from the sun because green plants make their food from the energies they trap for the sun and we trap energies for the sun to make our vitamin d likewise a newborn baby use traps energy from the sun to remove excess bilirubin in the blood stream so why is it that hard for you to believe that you trap your energy from the sun the moment of your birth to make to build your own personality as a human nobody says you should worship the sun or you should not worship god but there is so much energies in the in the universe we are embodied this universe is, is embodiment of cosmic energies that is why when you send out the word of your mouth they take hold because you, the energies trap them immediately they come out if you say it is well with you then it is well with you if you say it shall never be well with you it takes place so the universe is an embodiment of energies if scientists has not investigated the process of photosynthesis and understand that green light, green plants trap energies from the sun, probably by now, nobody knows how the green plants eat their food. They will say that whenever we sleep at night, God comes down to feed the green plants. God has given us wisdom. He has given us the brain to think as as human beings as higher animals it is very important that we use our brain to think and don't always depend on god to do everything for us with green plants trap energy from the sun to eat to make their food manufacture their food we we do we manufacture vitam, uh, vitamin d in our blood streams from the energies we trap from the sun. That's exactly how we trap energies from the sun when we were born as our form of the, our personality or our psychology. So, this is it for Mercy and Ike's ship. I want to remind us all that I'm open for consultation. Please, Whoever it is that you want to ask about their natal chart or their astrological fingerprints, I am always available to take your, your consultations so that I can tell you what tendencies each and every one of us has that they can bring to the table even next year or in many years to come because it is an inborn personality or a natural tendency 
for that particular zodiac sign. Like I always used to say, don't blame the individual. Blame it on their zodiac sign because that is how they were born. Thank you and see you guys some other time.